There are a lot of synonyms for the word fear. Panic, agitation, worry, dread, unease, doubt, apprehension, distress, anxiety. Whatever you might call it, fear keeps a lot of us from doing a lot of things we might actually want to do. It makes us think twice about trying something new or going somewhere we've never been, even when those new things are exciting or good for us. It keeps us from saying something important because it seems too tough or too vulnerable, even when our relationships depend on it. It steers us towards the safe and familiar. It makes us worry and overthink and sometimes back out of commitments. It keeps us awake at night, nervous and terrified about the next day to come. In all the ways it shows up, it seems to always make us live a life lesser than what we're capable of. So then, what is to be done about fear? This immense, ubiquitous specter that seems so much larger than us. To turn away from fear, Minimizing its power means to turn towards something else. In considering what to turn to, there's something that is most antithetical to fear, most incompatible. That thing is certainty. Fear is a question of capability and safety. Can I really do this? Will things turn out all right? Is this worth the risk of harm? But certainty is the grounded, immovable answer. Any certainty at all can make a difference in the face of fear and anxiety. But the most effective certainty is a conviction of desire, a fixed aspiration that is connected to who you are and who you most desire to be. If you are a parent, and your greatest aspiration is to nurture and provide for your family. There is unbreakable certainty in that. Nothing can compromise the gravity of that pull towards doing what is best for your family. If you're someone in a helping profession, a nurse, a therapist, a doctor, you've made a substantial commitment to provide this world with much needed healing. You decided that your life belongs to a greater good of increasing the collective well-being, and no obstacle can sway you from that purpose. There's so much certainty in that. If you've decided at any point, in any kind of way, that you're a certain kind of person, you're a faithful person, or a generous person, or a loving person, a reliable person, or someone who's always willing to do the right thing, then you have a perpetual source of certainty. The reason all of these sources of certainty are so significant is because they are where you will find your answers when facing the fear-fueled questions of capability and safety. Are you unsure if you're able to accomplish a certain task well? That fear matters substantially less when it's faced up against the fact that this task is one step along the path to fulfilling your calling in life. Something might seem hard or uncomfortable, but that discomfort is a minuscule price for the prize of being in line with your purpose. To stop when you notice fear or to let anxiety dictate your decision-making is to surrender your potential and your fulfillment. As more walls continuously get thrown up, more reasons to not go in a certain direction or not make an attempt at something important. You'll find it less possible to be the version of yourself you'd like to be. This is when you look for certainty, the kind we can find in what is meaningful to us, the kind that's in our love for our family, our passion for our work, our principles of who we are and what is right. Find something so big so true and so significant that no fear can ever compare to it. 
and then constantly use that to leap more and more towards being the best possible version of yourself, whatever that might look like. <laughs>